One in 3,000 people are living with NF, a genetic disorder that can cause tumors to grow on nerves. And this weekend, you can help take steps to help find a cure. Joining us this morning to talk about it all is NF Walk organizers Jessica Samblinet and Caitlin Horner, as well as Travis Horner. Thank you all for coming in. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Having you bet. It's nice to be with you. Travis, how you doing? Talk to me about what Good. it's like. Good. Talk to me about what it's like living with NF. Uh, it's like... Um, not fun? Is that Not what it stands fun. for? NF? You've got a little bit of problem with vision because of this. Can you see me okay? Mm-hmm. Are you, do you ever have a period or a place where you're not seeing so well? Um, no. Well, good. I hope it stays that way. And your mom's real conscientious about uh, making sure that you're doing okay and watching after you? Yep. Oh, good. What, what's it been like for, for him growing up? So Travis has had multiple MRIs to monitor his brain tumor, which is called an optic glioma. It's on his optic nerve. Um, he's had MRIs, and luckily it's been mostly stable. It's only grown a little bit. So we've been very lucky. He has to have the dilated eye exams to check on that. He also has learning disabilities, ADHD, and sensory problems and anxiety because of it. So. I'm glad you guys have this organization and each other, both with yeah. kids that have yeah. this disorder. Is, is it, it's it's got to be pretty darn tough as a mom, I'm sure. Yeah, it was it was a surprise. I'd only heard about it once when he was diagnosed. and. Yeah, I, our family had never even heard the word NF or neurofibromatosis when my daughter was diagnosed at five months old. Um, and, you know, she ended up having to go through 16 months of chemo for her wow. tumors. You know, when she's born, we never even heard of it. And uh, You guys are paying a big price, and I, that, that could be her right there that we're looking at yep, a picture of. Yep, that's her when she oh, went through chemo, yep. She's a sweetie. She's got her binky and her baby with her. She had a lot of dolls. Yeah, <laughs> good. And we're going to see some pictures from the event uh, from past years. Uh, talk to us about how important it is to find some uh, some folks who are dealing with the same thing. You rely on them for emotional support? We do. We um, With the walk, we really come together with people who do have NF. Um, we like to support our, uh, really celebrate and support our NF heroes, the children living with it, but also come together with our families. Um, it's wonderful to have that support. And then there's so many people who don't even have NF that come just to celebrate us and have a great day. We have superheroes. We've got princesses, face painting, magician, a huge raffle. I noticed Batman in there. You're your Batman fan, Travis? You prefer Superman or Batman? Um, Superman. You go with Superman. I'll go with you. I agree. I know <laughs> you told me you like the Deadpool, but your mom says you haven't seen it. We'll have to work that one out <laughs> after the break. The Cincinnati NF Walk is going to be tomorrow at the Voice of America Park in Westchester. Registration begins at 9. There will be a Kids Hero Dash at 1030. The walk will begin at 1040. If they want to register, they can go there and do it in person. But if they wanted to do it online, where would, be, where would they go? NF Walk dot org slash Cincinnati. You can sign up until tomorrow morning or even online tomorrow morning. NFWalk dash org dot org dot org slash Cincinnati. Slash Cincinnati. The slashes and dashes. Hope yeah. we got it right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming in. Thank nice you. to meet you. you. Now